Lady Lacey, where are we? I don't know. Kenneth Conway Civic Center. Okay, try that again. Take two. Lady Lacey, where are we? Kenneth Conway Conven no. Civic Center. Never mind. <laughs> What's the first thing you're finding? Shirts. They have shirts. handsome guy looking through some comics here. I'm in my happy place. This, this yours? Big so far? It is. It is. Yes. My, uh, the rest of my stack's over there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your first pickups. So I got a Rita Skeeter with the Quick Quilts Quill and then John Cena. But I don't think you can see what I got. Because, you know, I don't know. I just like him. He's funny. It's my first wrestling figure, guys. And you're not much of a pop collector, so you made an exception for the Reese Skeeter? I did because basically I only collect pops that I like, that just like kind of speak to me. And she speaks to me. Her character's hilarious and it just it's a good looking pop, so. <laughs> He's not a monster, he's just a spider man. Those are monsters. They're creepy. <laughs> you got your next pickup. I did. I got a tiny barrel that I have no idea what I'm gonna put in it, but it opens. Look. Look, it opens. You should put Ecto Cooler in that. They don't make it anymore. Uh, yeah, they will. Backwoods Ecto Cooler. <laughs> and then I got a grumpy person because it makes me think of Tom. Hi, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> but you take his little head off. You don't like Tom, do you? And you can put a can in there. So it's a koozie, cozy, koozie. It's my little grumpy man. I just woke up. What did I miss? Kind of looks like he could be a fantasy version of Doc looking for Marty. <laughs> Marty, we've got to get you back to the dungeon. Plushie quota met for this show. Look how cute. We got Minnie, she's a little bat with her little bat bag. 
And we got Spider Mickey with his little spider bag. And they can go trick or treating. You heard it here, plushie quota met. She can't get any more plushies at this uh, show. I didn't say that I couldn't overdo the quota. I just meant it's been met. Now we have to be an overachiever. So that's a, it's a convertible. Uh, so it's a mini backpack. And then if you have a pull on this, it becomes a folder bag. Oh, wow. So you can use it uh, two different ways. That's so clever. Yeah. Look. That looks. <laughs> I don't usually put things on the right side. That's okay. How cool is that? More purses and bags need to Right? That is so... That's very this handy. Is amazing. Oh, that's awesome. Thank you. I hand make them myself. I don't even have a sewing machine, which is very sad, but... <laughs> so you hand sew it, too? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. The, the parts are laser cut, so I create... The, uh, I either get a pattern and modify it or make the pattern and then cut out the parts on a laser and then do all the assembly to sew. That is amazing. I got a dead possum, or is he just playing possum? <laughs> Show him off all of that. That's too cute. Look at his little curly tail. I got this in honor of our possum that we have that lives under the house. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's adorable. talking about it doesn't hurt when they come out at all nice. <laughs> he's just a pansy that's the first set i've made i'm not sure but i hope they hold it. well i'm probably not gonna play hard with them <laughs> That got me some clothes. Oh, come on. Give me your best Wolverine. <laughs> how, how was that? <laughs> Come on, tell me. Look at these Ghostbusters toys. What right here, favorite Ghostbuster toy? Hmm. Probably the one behind you. Probably this right here. Except, oh, wait, boy, terror tub. Well, it might be actually this bathtub from Ghostbusters 2 that gets possessed. Like, I didn't have this as a kid, though. Like, John, did you see that? It's the terror. just seems like a good time. Yes, it sure does. No, um, I begged for this car for a long time, and then a but, special surprise on my birthday, I got the I got the part two one, which is just but, extra stickers and stuff to it. But uh, that that definitely the vehicle, always the vehicle. I don't know that you were that good to get it on your birthday. I wouldn't have got it for you. That's cool. Thanks, Dad. Look into my eyes. 
buy Lacey everything she wants here. Baby dragon. Oh, sorry, crunch, crunch. He's, this is this is me in costume. Anyway, this one. That's me getting out of bed in the morning. I'm getting Jean-Claude Van Spider-Man. We're getting Sauron so that I can make Tom do what I want. We're getting Magneto because I want to tell him what to do now. I'm getting Wolvie because, you know, it's his era right now. So we're getting Wolverine. And then I'm getting Donnie and Marie Osmond. Yeah. Well, like a Yeah. I was walking. I never heard it. I heard it through. Even built in. Oh, nice. So it's a little padded in there? It's feeling it's very padded. Oh, yeah, it is. Wow. It's so. I mean, there's little pockets right there. Yes. Oh, my goodness. And then a pocket there. No, I'm like. Sometimes the pants don't stretch too. Never wanted to turn down fun and unique earrings. No. Got me a little succulent with the, the macrame hangy things. Um, I won't kill these, and that's the main reason I like them. So, you know. <laughs> Do I look in awe? <laughs> you picked a good booth to be in yeah, awe exactly. at. I so. didn't get to shop at Tremendicon, I just kept running by them, so I'm here. Stop! I caught you speeding! Ah. Are we going to get you on screen talking about anything you've bought yet? <laughs> I haven't bought anything. <laughs> and I got this really cool um, bag that you can put watery stuff in or not watery stuff. What's also really cool, aside from the Atomic Star Wars, is you got this fun zipper and zipper pull. Love that. And then a really pretty floral vinyl bag with a fun BB-8 zipper on it. I'm a bag lady. I actually like this one better. 
I just like everything about her. I've always been more of a more different skin colored person. The only thing I like about this one is the butt. That's about it. Just the butt. This one just looks better all the way around. <laughs> Look at all of this cool stuff. And I know I haven't seen that guy before. It's all this cool 3D printed stuff. There's this guy that I've never seen before. I also love the dragon scale bags, but what I'm really loving is this guy and I've never seen him before. Look, Tom showed this to me. So it's his fault that I'm getting it. I need to stop showing you things. You need to stop showing me things. <laughs> All right, so why is this something that you had to have? Because it's Wanda and Vision, and I love them. They're my favorite couple. She's my favorite, X or not X-Men, but um, Marvel character, so. I thought I saw something over there, but I really, really can't remember every time I look at it. <laughs> hey, Nerdlings. What's up, Nerdlings? Oh, man, the Route 66 Toy and Comic Convention this wow. has been my best show, no offense to everybody else, but this has been my best show to date this year. The, all the shows have been great, but as far as what I was able to find to pick up... <laughs> you know, <laughs> the first time we went last year, it, it was kind of on a whim. We're like, oh, okay, yeah, let's yeah. go check it out. And we had such a great time, and we were legit looking forward to it yes. all year long. And man, they did not disappoint. As you saw, it's gotten so much bigger. There's so many more vendors. So much bigger. Uh, they've got more artists, more writers on hand. This event yeah. is going to become so huge. I mean, forgive me if you had shirts last year, but I don't remember seeing them. And I, there were shirts this year. And I actually regret not getting a shirt this year because I was overwhelmed by the time we were leaving. You were like, do you want a shirt? And I was like, nah, better have shirts next year. <laughs> And I'm going to get me a shirt next year. Forgive her. She had con brain. She I got do. so excited. We found so much stuff there that not only did we fill the barrel, but yes. you keep one of those lovely little fold-up bags fold in Fold-up shopping bags in there that we had to get Isn't out. It like the size of a duffel bag? It is. A, yeah, it's a duffel bag. Uh, that was full. And I still had to carry stuff out to the car separate from those two things because there was no other yes. place to put them. <laughs> In the video, you saw a lot of those pickups. There were a few things that we didn't talk about while we were there in the moment. So let's dive in. You've got a whole smattering of littles here. Yes, because I was at this one booth and everything was like 50 cents a piece or something like that. So I kind of went a little crazy because they were mostly like, like the McDonald's slash Sonic Burger King toys. I'm very much into a Disney era right now. So I picked up Minnie Mouse from Epcot Center in her little um, fun little Japanese outfit and then Donald at, from the Three Caballeros. I also picked up this really fun Sonic TV with a little uh, Sega on top of it and when you wheel it, it changes the channel, or not the channel, but the, the show. Got a uh, Dr. Robotnik spinny zoomy toy. This I actually had when I was a kid, so this I got out of pure nostalgia, but this was a Sonic toy, and it's this really cool long stretched car, but oh my gosh, it's a pin! <laughs> I love how surprised you are, <laughs> it's a pin! Ah! But wait! This was also super cool, because you know, it's just like, just a cool flying jet, right? The flying jet, but no, rah, it's a monster! It's got teeth? It's got teeth. It's why a monster. Do you, why do you keep buying stuff with teeth? I don't know. Have you not watched enough horror movies to know that things Which with is teeth? funny because some things with like real looking human teeth really freak me out and I don't like, but like, like monster things with teeth are fun. Also, I do remember getting these Flintstone Happy Meal toys. Uh, this one I got specifically because it says, Toys Saw Us. Get it? <laughs> but if any of you guys are old enough to remember these, they were all the little Flintstone buildings, and they would open up and you'd have a car inside. This one was a weird one. I don't know why, but I was just drawn to it because it's like, you know, it's just a rock, right? No, it's John Smith hiding in a rock from Pocahontas. Why is he hiding in a rock? <laughs> Surprise, I'm hiding in a rock. <laughs> <laughs> it's so I, I, I have a weird. There's something wrong with me. And then after purchasing all of this, the guy I bought it from, he goes, "Here, cause you bought so much from me, have a baby doll." 
<laughs> he gave me this really dirty, ratty Bam Bam doll. Which Bam Bam would be dirty he and He would ratty. be dirty and ratty and everything. <laughs> Just, I was like, oh, thanks. I did manage to get you a coaster. You yes. were so upset that I kept the spider punk coaster. Mm -hmm. So um, he get me two. Made sure that uh, we got you a Scarlet My Witch. My beautiful Scarlet and Witch. he hooked us up with this one because we were both laughing at it this. Is, this one is hilarious because it's almost like Obi-Wan's like, what what have I done? Why did I choose to watch this weird kid? I mean, he's just sitting on top of his little house doorway pretending to drive something. That's like, the... we know it's a scene from the series, but it's still funny in the context here because <laughs> that boy ain't right. I don't know how many of these things we're going to end up getting. Probably a lot. As much as we love X-Men, had to go with the X-Men one. I mean, look at how great that looks on there, the logo. It's so, like, 3D popping. It's great. Non-toy related, I got a really nice little uh, keychain here from Stargate SG-1, my favorite TV show. And it is the symbol for home. And then this really cool piece of slate with... Another rock, you guys. Another rock. But this one's a magnet. It's fine. It's fine. But it has Sam Winchester and Dean Winchester's initials itched, et, itched in it, etched in it. There. Practical things. More toys related. I'm pretty positive I do not have Jadzia Dax in this outfit. So I have to go look to make sure. But because, I mean, she has Man, different... Man, those, those track people knew how to get your money, didn't they? Did. they? Do you have Dax in this outfit? Or a hat? She has a new hat. Got that to add to the collection. But she's got a new hat. But these were super cool. They're kind of, would you say like Mighty Max, Polly Pocket-esque? Mm -hmm. But we've got the um, runabout here with got little Judzia and Jordy driving it around. And then we have the shuttle from the Enterprise. You've got Kirk and I think that's Scotty, I believe. So a little bit of OG Star yeah. Trek love. And then the Borg Cube. And so in here, we've got uh, Picard and a Borg. And this one has um, a not so nice table on it that could make him something else that he shouldn't be. Are you gonna get these? I think so. I think I'm gonna get these, yeah. These guys. You know, I hear Data kiss the Borg and he liked it. Mm -hmm. When we saw this, you were kind of interested in it i mistook it for a different scooby-doo haunted house yeah play sets like these you had a lot of fun pairing toys with even I, if it's yes. not like actually scooby-doo yeah, toys i basically just like using it as like a base for like a dollhouse or something like that and honestly what drew me to it in the first place was just the coloring i love the green and purples together and so then as I got closer, I realized, oh, it's more of like a haunted house looking thing. And then I realized that it was a Scooby-Doo house. But it's really cool because it's got like stairs that collapse. So it makes a slide. It's got trap doors. It's got spooky ghost curtains on the inside. There's treasure in there. There's clues, all kinds of fun stuff. And I believe this is the Playmobil. So do you have any toys in mind that are going to live in here already? Not yet, because it's not a very big scale. Yeah, Donald fits, so maybe this will be a, a Donald house. You all know that I love to take my stuff out of the box. This one I'm struggling with. Bravo! Found an amazing, amazing condition on top of that. Mary Jane, Spider-Man in her wedding dress. The back of the box is the cool cover of the, the comic and everything. I mean, even the inside of the box, the outside, everything about this box is so cool. And, I mean, she even comes with a necklace for you to wear. She's got Spidey's mask, so I'm like, that's kind of, I don't know. I just don't know if I want to leave her in the box. I mean, it's such a cool box and display thing. But, you know, I also feel like all my toys need to come out so they can be played with. And then I also worry, like, is Toy Story true? And the people that get stayed in the box, do they, like start to go crazy and get angry at you and I don't want him to kill me in the middle of the night. Personally, I think it looks best in the box because of these pieces that, yeah. you know, just wouldn't be there without it. You know, if you take her out of the box respectfully, she just looks like a redhead in a wedding dress. At least in the box, you know who she's supposed to be. But I can be. pretend it's me. <laughs> oh, your dress wasn't white. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh. I awoke several hours later in a daze. I did not find a single video game at this event or comics but i did find something that i have actually been looking for for a while this is the entire 
X-Men 90s animated series. The best series ever. DVD collection. Volume 1 through 5. And in fact, 3, 4, and 5 are still yes. sealed. All of these have their slip covers. All of them are in really, really great shape. Yeah. And I saw $40. I'm thinking 40 for one, and I'm like, oh man, I don't I don't know. And he's like, no, it's it's 40 for all of them. <laughs> well, I think he ultimately kind of threw he this did throw one that in. one in. Yeah. So this is the entire series, which was very short-lived, of mm -hmm. Wolverine and the X-Men. So all 26 episodes of this as well. It's my movie, bub. It's my movie, bub. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Let's let's still keep it nice. Keep the adamantium claws off. What have you done? Don't get mad. We need to end on something big. I don't know. Maybe a uh, toy grail. Holy item? grail? Yes. Have you ever talked about this thing before? I have talked about this before in one of those videos we did about toys we wish we could find again. And I never thought one I would be able to find it in really good condition, let alone still in the box. My Punky Brewster doll. Oh, Punky. <laughs> I am so excited to find this and the fact that she's still in her box, which means she is in pristine condition. Box, not so much, but that's okay because she's coming out of this thing. Um, I was so excited to find this because I've never seen her out and about in the years that we have been hunting except one time and she was naked and she was covered in marker. <laughs> and I don't know if she had all her hair, but the fact that this one has all of her clothes but i'm so so happy and the other amazing thing about this ladies something we all know that we love our men to do i was on the fence about getting it because he did want kind of a pricey bit for it and i was like oh i really want her but i don't know if i want to pay that he just said you know what i don't care we're getting it and so he just told the guy wrap this up we're getting it i will share the price it was 60 that's what he had it marked yeah. for now once he bundled everything together because like the, the house, the DVDs, this, I think there were a few other things, you know, the price yeah. obviously fluctuated a bit, but even at 60, the fact that she was in the box, I mean, I thought that was still a pretty good It is good a bargain. great price. I'm just a cheapskate. There's one last little Easter egg that I love on the bottom of oh, this, the yeah. Toys R Us sticker. Yeah, it comes from Toys R Us and she was 1997 at Toys R Us, <laughs> so. There you guys go. Uh, you got to see a bit of Route 66 Toy and Comic Convention. Uh, the pickups while we were grabbing them there, and then the stuff that we forgot to talk about while we were there. So we showed them off here. Lots of uh, episodes to watch now. As you can see, it was very eclectic. With. There was a lot of different kinds of stuff there: toys, collectibles, craft items. So yeah, we had a we had a great time. And of course, we got to meet up with some of our friends again, and that's always like one of our favorite things because. And it's like, these are our con buddies. Yeah, they are our con buddies. Most of them we only get to see at conventions because real life. <laughs> and then the other thing that we absolutely love going to this show for is... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Taco Jones! Taco Jones. Because we don't have one around Jones. here. Hey, you like their papas too, so... <laughs> All right, well, Nerdlings, <laughs> please leave some comments down below and we will catch you at the next convention. In fact, Bye. I think we gotta go. We, we're probably late. For the yeah, next we one. probably are late for one. <laughs> oh, we are late for the oh, next crap. one. Bye, Nerdlings! Seems so weird. Doesn't that seem weird? That seems weird. Love you, future time. <laughs> the Hannibal Lecture of the Klingons. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Hey, nerdlings, what's up? She said she's ready, so we're going. It's okay, nerdlings. I'm just playing with my toys. She's gonna be very. Very picky. Oh, oh, she's doing the classic swap. Yep. So I don't know where you were going with that. Okay. Stop it. Shut up. All right, ready? Yes. So cute, so cool. The booth was half off. I think I got it for like two bucks. <laughs> got spaceships, barrels, bags, and a witch. Oh my. <laughs> I got me a John Cena, but hang on, hang on. Okay, now you can see him. Now you can see what toy I got, okay? Just in time for Deadpool Wolverine. Schnick! And then, Dex. I want to counter spots. Okay. 
and so he wanted to experiment to see, you know, if they could, if he could make some, and uh, he made some some claws. It's not. I don't think Wolverine would do that with his claws. <laughs> and you know, they're surprisingly comfortable. You don't have any claws. <laughs>